right guys so I'm just doing this quick little video here for the uh, for the channel and some tire info uh, this mainly pertains to like the RC four-wheel drive tires um, I got a rig a while back and it was the one that you guys see the dually and it came with these Wrangler Goodyear uh, Duratrack tires on it, and I never really ran them or anything. Uh, I was actually working on trying to trade these to a subscriber. Um, buddy, I don't know if I'm going to be trading them to you or not, because I've been doing some tire testing. Uh, you guys, I, I, I do run these, these mud slingers on, on the, um, Marlin here. Uh, they're a nice tire, and they work really well. Uh, they really do like mud, you know, mud slinger. Uh, they do really well in, like, sandy stuff. Like, uh, if you watch that video where I had, where I was on, like, the sandy mud stuff on uh, out there by the river, these tires did really well. I haven't really been running the Marlin and putting it to, to some use this week uh, between going to work, before I go to work. And just doing a lot of testing and tuning and straightening my suspension out because uh, it had some issues with some dry shaft binding and that's why I was getting tire rubbed so bad. So I got all that worked out and man, this, this thing works so much better. Uh, I'm going to be posting up a little snippet that's kind of a funny little comedy thing video uh, showing the suspension working. But uh, between these tires, and I, these are the bigger tire lineup in a 155 from RC Four Wheel Drive, okay? These aren't necessarily like a really super scale tire. I mean, to me, these are the equivalent. Uh, when you're talking RC Four Wheel Drive 110 scale, I guess is the best way to put it, because everybody has a different measurement of scale, like the, you know, Traxxas guys, or like, uh, good lord, I said the T word uh red cats you know i mean in my opinion those aren't really one tenth scales but that's my opinion i think they're more like an eighth scale crawler and the rc four wheel drive stuff is more closer in my opinion to like tenth scale but every manufacturer has a difference um in their scales i wish people would get it all right uh and just stay with that so you have like but anyways that's beyond that's a different video so these are your upper end um when on your scale tires and if you actually read uh these tires from rc four-wheel drive i don't know if the camera will pick it up you might be able to see uh, when i say scale tires see these are like a 15 inch you see that 15.5 so this would be like a 42 inch tire on a toyota they're literally labeled that way um so that's how I go by my, my rim size. Like a 1.9 is like running a 19 inch rim where, you know, 1.7 is like a 17 inch rim. And then a 1.55 is like a true 15 inch tire rim, which would be on like your, you know, older model vehicles. So that's why I like the 155s because in my opinion, they're closer to true scale. What should be on all these trucks? I mean, that's me. Uh, that's just how I feel about it. So, you know, this would be, the, these tires are pretty much the equivalent of size height with one another. They're as minuscule by, I mean, like, not even a full one millimeter height difference. So, um, the Marlin comes with, you know, a stock, basically four inch tall tire when you're talking inches. Um, oh, not four inch, I'm sorry, millimeters, like a, like a four point whatever, uh, no, it would be inches, I'm sorry, um, when it comes to, like, the actual tire. So, these are pretty close. The mud hogs that you'll see in the videos on my Red 4 Runner, uh, RC Four Wheel Drive says those are, like, a 4.19, but all of these, including the mud hogs, I don't have them in the picture, which are a great tire. Um, I don't know if the compound has something to do with it, because uh, these tires do go really well. They don't like super wet. Unless it's mud, then they do well. Um, hence the name Mud Slinger. And then you'll see the size of these on the sidewall. They have these labeled as being like a scale, like a 30, 
like a 36 inch tire uh so you know i mean it's just that's how they do their scale size tire so which i don't know what the marlin crawler had on the real one it might have been a 35 36 37 i think they had i think that real truck had like 37s on it so this would be you know close to what would be on the truck the real truck i'm talking the one to one um so you know, I mean, you're not going to shoehorn, in my opinion, like a 4.7 tire or whatever, which is like a standard for a 1.9 on most height. You know, that's like shoehorning a 50-inch size real truck, truck tire in real life, in my opinion, under one of these. And they just look goofy. Um, and there's no need for it. You know, so this is like the biggest I go uh, to try, you know, scale-wise. Because this is the upper echelon, in my opinion, like a 4.1 whatever. Uh you know, 4.12, a 4.19, you're pushing it pretty hard. Uh, you know, I know a lot of guys are running like 4.5s and stuff. And, you know, that's, you know, you just get into having to trim fenders or lift bodies. And, I mean, it's just not really my thing. Uh, but anyways, on with it. Out of these tires uh, and the mud hogs included, uh, the mud hogs go really, really well. They like the wet environments, like the creeks and stuff you see me running in. They, they, they still bite a hold. And the fender wells are trimmed on that Forerunner. I didn't do it. Whoever I got the truck off of had already trimmed it. So I like the running those on there, you know, and that's kind of like my beater truck. Uh, I have been putting the Marlin through some pretty hard abuse uh, here lately. And uh, it's really starting to perform really well. I wanted to finish getting the leaf springs broke in on it. Because they're really starting to settle in really nice now. They got the suspension working like it's supposed to. But these tires, these Wrangler guys, if you're looking and you want a bigger tire, these are licensed Goodyear Wranglers uh, from RC Four Wheel Drive. These tires crazily outperformed the Mud Slingers. Um, I, I I just I took it up. I got my testing stuff all cleaned off and everything, and got a good environment where everything was finally dried out. And wow, uh, I'm gonna be taking the Goodyear Wranglers and putting them over onto my trail wheels, and probably running these Goodyear Wranglers, which sucks because I really like the way these look. These look really killer, but uh, performance wise, uh, whew, man, I couldn't believe how much these Wrangler uh good years did uh, how and it may be the rubber compound uh i thought these these are a little harder um these really dig on the sidewalls a little better they get better sidewall grip than these do because i guess the lugs off onto the side so if you guys are just looking at a performance um you know performance wise you know these might not look as cool. They're a good looking tire too. And these are just stock RC four wheel drive foams. These do conform better. You get more better conformity to the rocks. Uh, they're both tires are, these are really broken in. These have gotten a lot of trail time on them. Um, but yeah, I can't believe how much better these Goodyear Dirt Tracks. They, uh, make sure I'm saying that right. Goodyear Dirt Track Wranglers. Yeah. Uh, these actually did really well, man. I was really surprised. So I'm going to be switching these out to my trills and uh, running them and doing some more testing. Because uh, I ran these testing-wise on these wagon wheels that have no weight to them, which, I mean, wasn't a huge difference. You, I get better suspension articulation with the trills because of the weight pulling down on the suspension. But... These things did really well. They did they did really well in the wet. Um, they perform way better than these in the wet, and these performed way better. The dirt, the Wranglers, did way better in the wet uh, compared to the mud slingers on rock surfaces. I'm talking about. So, uh, just really took me by surprise. Um, I just I, it's crazy. So I guess I'm gonna be switching out to these. So, if I could afford it, I'd get me another set of these trill wheels, and I'd just mount these tires to the trills. And, uh, but, uh, you know, I thought about trying some different foams in these, but these tires just aren't going to perform as well as these Dura tracks. So, I wish I'd have got some video footage of you guys, the differences between the tires, but this Marlin just traversed the rocks 
uh, way better with these on it. Um, and everything, really, the entire trail and everything, they just performed better. Not that these tires did bad, because they don't go bad. And these things do really well, too, in, like, loose, sandy dirt. But uh, I'm going to be giving these a try and running the Marlin for a while. Uh, I've been working a lot of bugs out with the Marlin. So, like I said, I had a lot of issues with um, just suspension-wise with the Marlin. Uh, I'm going to go over that. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and explain that to you guys. Get these out of the way. Uh, you see the Marlin here is uh, up on jack stands here in the back. So, uh, my front dry shaft. I was having, I had absolutely no travel in my front end at all. Um, now it's, you know, it's good. Uh, what ended up happening was I've never had plastic dry shafts. This has, I've upgraded the dry shafts to the Axial Wild Boar 8s in it. And somehow the hollow part of the dry shaft, the plastic swelled after, you know, some use. And it was causing my front end to bind. And that's, if you watch some videos, you'll hear my tire scrub. And I thought, I never had that much tire scrub when I first did this build and took it out and was running it. And, uh, man, it just really, I was like really confused what was going on. And I started taking a deeper look into it. And that's what it was. The dry shaft wasn't telescoping in and out uh, like it, like properly. So... And the whole reason why I ended up switching out to the Wild Boars uh, because I had brand new sets here, several of them, and I just wasn't going to blow a ton of money out, uh, you know, to buy real expensive drive shafts. I love the Junfac drive shafts. I have a video install of those. Those are great drive shafts. Can't, I can't praise those enough. I know some guys, you know, might say because they're not expensive enough or something. I don't know. I've got a lot of use. And I've got a giant spider falling down, so I'm going to have to kill that really quick. I'm sorry. Uh, do away with it really fast here. Because um, it's not a friendly looking one. But, uh, yeah. But anyways, guys, I just thought I'd post that up. Uh, get this video put up. You know, a little channel update. Just something else different to do on the channel. If you guys watch it, you know, tire tech. And, uh, guys, check your dry shafts all the time. Uh, you know, that's, now I'm getting very minimal tire, tire rub on this Marlin, uh, even running the bigger tires, you know, on it. And I do harder stuff with this truck. So, you know, some of the trucks, I mean, I, I really prefer a 3.85 tall tire maxed out for scale wise. And in my opinion, that does in the scale world with RC full drive, it wouldn't equate out to that one like a TRX-4 or anything like that, but these actual scale trucks, um, you know, a 3.85 tire really does equate into having, like, you're running, uh, you know, closer to, like, a 36 or a 38-inch tire on a real Toyota pickup. Um, that That's that's just how it works, in my opinion. Um, you know, the guys that are trimming fenders and running, like, those four or fives and stuff, that's like you're running a 45-inch tire, which I'm not saying guys don't do that in the real world either, but... Uh, that's just, you know, not my thing. So, uh, this is, you know, I'm going to be doing some, uh, you know, more tire testing using the Marlin. Like I said, for some reason, this truck's had some issues to work out on it. Uh, you know, and I've ran this truck for a while and now it's starting, uh, a few things are starting to show up on, like I said, that suspension issue. And the whole reason why I ended up having to go to the Wild Boar H real quick is, is I run the A&M. Get the truck pulled over here a little bit. Uh, I run the A and M uh, front kit piece here, and it, it this isn't the plus four. Um, this is the just a standard one, but it still pulls your axle forward. If you'll look at it, it does pull it forward just a little bit, and then of course once your leaf springs break in and settle down, they actually pull forward a little bit more. So. It, the factory dry shaft in a vine would pop out on the RC four-wheel drive. So that's why I ended up going to the wild boars because they're a little longer. And I just wasn't going to break those wild boars on an RC four-wheel drive rig. And they're, they're really good dry shafts and they're affordable. Uh, I think now you can get like the Junfax for like 30 some 40 bucks. I'll probably eventually go ahead and do the Junfax on this truck. But, uh... 
yeah, I don't, uh, I just couldn't believe the difference in the tires. Uh, so, you know, these tires here really performed really well. So, uh, gonna be getting these swapped over to my true wheels because I want the weight down low, um, for side hilling and everything. And like I said, I got the suspension worked out a lot better on this truck. It basically had almost no suspension travel in the front of it after watching some of the videos and I just didn't know what was going on. So I don't know how long it's been binding up, but it's, wow, it made a huge difference. So I just wanted to share that on the channel with everybody. That's what's been going on. That's what I've been focusing on. Um, waiting on more parts to come for the dually. They got shipped out today. So I'll be getting some more update stuff going on that. And getting that, you know, hopefully some video of that on the trail. Trying to, uh, I think my brother is looking at getting a trail finder truck finally. Uh, he's trying to work a deal to trade his SCX-10 off. So you may be seeing some videos coming. Maybe him and I going out together. Uh, trying to get, try to get my bud back out there with me and get him back on the trail with his trucks. I need to talk to him. Uh, so anyways, guys. I just, I like to get a bunch of us together with the trail finder trucks and start doing some cool videos, but just got to get time and everything. Got a lot of family stuff going on this weekend, so I don't know if I'll get anything RC done. I've got a lot of mowing property to take care of. So this will be the last update probably for a little bit, and then I'm going to have that little funny video I'm going to be editing and putting together. Just something I thought was kind of funny. So from the RC dungeon, guys, there's a tire test. So, peace.